Today, a community came together on a somber anniversary remembering the life of Jonas Joseph. It was a year ago the Tampa police fired more than 100 rounds at Joseph after a car chase took place. Many of his loved ones are still fighting for justice one year later. In your size, Olivia Steen starting, it up, starting us off tonight. Uh, joining us live, tell us about this, what their family members are doing. Well, yeah, members of the Tampa Bay Community Action Committee say, say that today's memorial was to honor the life of Jonas Joseph, but also continue their fight to gain some sort of accountability from the Tampa uh, Police Department. You know, we can't allow instances like this to just kind of fade back into people's, you know, the back of people's heads. Like, we need to keep these stories alive. So. By saying his name. Justice for Jonas Joseph. Jonas Jonas Joseph. The Tampa Bay Community Action Committee gathered Sunday afternoon to remember Jonas Joseph. The blatant execution by the police department, I mean, 125 bullets, that's, you know, it's, it's just absolutely ludicrous. Investigators say Tampa police tried to stop Joseph while driving back in April of 2020 because his car was connected to a shooting. Authorities tell us he attempted to flee police, crashed into a tree, and that's when he opened fire on officers. The Florida State Attorney's Office decided not to press charges against the officers who fired back. Hurt me real bad to my core, how they took my cousin. They overkilled him. That's just not right. It's not right. Joseph's candlelight visual also drew emotional reactions from other families who say they've also been wronged by local law enforcement. It is the hardest task in the world. They have to go to graveyard to visit your child. Andrew Joseph the Third's family stood in solidarity with this group. Their 14-year-old son was killed while crossing I-4 back in 2014. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office detained their son after a fight broke out at the fair. His family says deputies later dropped him off near the fairgrounds, leaving Andrew Joseph to cross the busy interstate to get home. Every time those red and blue lights come on behind you, I don't care who you are. But if you have melanin in your skin, it's a life or death situation that you're in. He says it's going to take the entire community, not just activists and not just black people, to create the change they want to see within law enforcement agencies. And members of that local organization say they're going to continue to heat, hit the streets until the work is done. Live in Tampa, Olivia Steen, 8 on your side.